All right. So we can save that. And it's still not going to do anything. All right. We need to add our attributes. Okay. So back up to where we put the images in. We need to add a data toggle attribute. And actually what we're going to do is add it to the link, the A tag, not the actual image itself. All right. So say data toggle. Um, wait a minute. This isn't what I want. This is um, the friends. We need this here and we haven't even add links to it yet. So let's just add our links. Oops. What do I do? All right, so we'll just start with the first image just to make sure everything's working. So on the link, we want data toggle, and that's going to be equal to lightbox. Okay, uh, we also need, uh, what do we need? I think that's it. Let me just let's just try that. Uh, okay, so it looks like it's it's opening the model, but it's actually bringing in the entire page. Um, oh, you know why? Because we need the link to actually go to the image. So uh, where were we? So we want we want this link this needs to go to the image which is going to be the same as this source so if I get that and paste that in here save it and then it opens the image up now we should be able to add a title I believe if we just add the data title attribute so data title we'll just say image one Let's see if that works. All right, so you can see we have the title. Um, what else can we add? I think we can add the description, which is going to be in data footer. So data footer, and we'll just say this is image one. And you can see now we have a description. So we want to do this for all of our images. So what I'm going to do is copy the entire list item and just replace all these. Should be six altogether. All right, and then each one we need to change. So we got one. This will be two. And you want to change it. You want to change it in the link, in the footer, and in the actual uh, image source. Okay, this one will be three. Four, five. And six. And then if we just want to change the text to this will be three. Five and six. All right. So reload and now we click on the image and it opens with its title and description. Now, in order for us to have the arrows to scroll through them, we need to add um, a data gallery attribute. All right, so on the link, once again, we're going to add data gallery, and we're just going to call this my gallery. And we need to add that to every single link. Okay, so we'll do it here. All right, and we can try it. I think there's one more thing we need to do. Yeah, um, 
we need to add data parent. So right here, we're going to say data parent. And what we want to put in here is uh, dot gallery parent. All right, and that is coming from right here. Okay, make sure you do the dot because I was I got stuck on this for a while because I didn't realize you had to actually put the dot in here. So just um, copy that, paste it in each one. Save. And now we have our arrows. We can scroll through. So really nice effect for a minimal code. We didn't even have to use the model code uh, or the modal code. We, we just used this plugin. Now that's all set. Um, I also want to, when you hover over, I want to have our the tooltip, the bootstrap tooltip. And you can find the documentation on that under the same link, the JavaScript link, and where is it? Tooltip. And it gives you some examples here. If we hover over these buttons, you can have it hover over the left, the top, the bottom, or the right. And it gives you the code right here, which is really nice. Um, so basically, let's just copy. Um, now, one thing you'll notice is this also uses the attribute data toggle, and we're using that with our modal, so we can't have two of the same attributes. So we're going to just use something different for that. We'll use data hover. All right, data hover tooltip, and then we need the placement, uh, and then we can add the title. All right, so I'm just going to copy all of this. Actually, I want it on the top, tooltip on the top. So we'll copy it from here to here. All right, and then in our page, um, let's see, what was the last, last thing we did here was data parent, so we'll go after that. And we just want to change this data toggle tooltip to data hover. And then placement top is good, the title just say uh, this is image one. All right, now I'm going to copy all what we just did here and paste it in all of these. I know it's getting a little messy with these attributes. Alright, and then we'll just change the title of those. We have this is image one, this is image two. Five and six. Okay, so we'll save that. And there's one more thing we need to do. We need to add just a, a, a line of JavaScript, which is right here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. And we're going to paste that down at the bottom, right under the plugin JavaScript or jQuery. And one thing we need to do is change this toggle. Because remember, we didn't use data toggle. We changed it to data hover. All right, now save that. And hopefully it'll work alright so it's working for these um, oh there we go oh there we go alright so I guess if I click if I hover in the middle it's not it's not happening but I'm not sure why it might be just something to do with having um, with having both both uh, plugins on the same image so we're not getting any errors or anything so it should be fine so basically we've we've created a, a full image gallery here it's I mean it's static but you know it has the light box it has the scroll through buttons so 
uh, that's it for the photos page so our social network template is now complete